On the 6th of September, 2020, a police officer was sent to handle an incident after receiving a report about a domestic disturbance at an apartment. Upon reaching the location, the officer started investigating to understand the situation and ensure everyone's safety. Domestic disturbances can be sensitive and risky situations, so it's crucial for law enforcement to act quickly and cautiously to calm things down and resolve conflicts peacefully. Hello. Hi. We got a call for a noise complaint and we can hear you guys talking about blood. So we're here. I mean, blood is normal, but... Okay, we just need to check on everybody because it's all over your pants. I mean... Yeah, but... Upon arriving at the scene, the officer immediately heard loud voices suggesting a fight outside the flat, hinting at a potentially dangerous situation. Responding carefully, the officer approached to evaluate the scene and step in if needed to stop any harm. Who else is here? My ex-boyfriend. Okay. We were in an argument, we were drunk, we were drinking, so... Okay. What was the argument about? Um... Not that I can mostly remember most of it, but most of it was more that he was looking at more like a looking at other females' ass. It was nothing too big, but okay. it obviously turned into something big. But okay, so how do you get the cuts on him? I actually don't remember. You don't remember? No. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't. You don't? You, no. You, I'm trying to fix it at the moment. It's just so baffled that I'm trying to fix it rather than be too more worried about it. So. Right. Well, it's obviously fresh, so how do you not remember something that fresh? I'm, that I'm just so baffled that it's like, that I did it. Did it was what? Like, so, it wasn't something like, that I cut him in a way that With he's going to leave like that. I think it was a knife. I'm okay. pretty sure. What are you doing with a knife in your hand? It wasn't in my hand. It was just right there. So I was just like, okay, stop. Like, stop. What were you doing with the knife, though? Sorry. Knocking on the door, the officer was met by a visibly intoxicated woman who asked why they were there. The officer calmly explained they were investigating a reported domestic disturbance. They likely approached with respect, aiming to ease tensions and gather details about the situation professionally. It was, no, it was right there, I'm like on the counter. Right, okay. So what did you like... pick it up and... All right, well, fire department's coming. What's going on? We're just arguing. Where's the knife? Okay. And it's obviously not okay because we turned into a little bit. Right, right now. I know. Because there's a knife involved. I know. Are you injured at all? No. Not that I know of. Okay, what do you mean, not that you know of? I am drunk. I am intoxicated, but I don't know. But I don't think so. Okay. You can lean against the wall. Against okay. the wall? This one? You can face me. What's going on with you guys right now? Just arguing. Why? Because we were drunk at the bar and he wanted to look at some girl's ass. It was very unreasonable and I know it's not going to fix it, but I know. Alright, well just because you're in handcuffs, I have to read you this. It doesn't mean that anything's coming from it, but because you're in handcuffs, I do have to read it to you. I know. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have to turn across the you can understand each of those. Okay, so what bar are you? What's your name? What bar are you guys at? Um, the one by the mall. It's like graffiti, like... In friendly. the mall or like in the plaza in the front? In the plaza. Okay, so probably graffiti. Something, something weird. He knows okay. it, I don't. Okay, and you guys started arguing there? Yes. Okay. Walk me through that. You were with another friend and he showed a picture and I was like, okay, is this not okay? And he was like, whatever. And I was just like, okay. And we just started continuing from there. Okay, what do you mean he showed a picture? Like he was looking at something on Instagram or yes. Facebook or something? Yes. Okay. What was it? It was an apps. Okay. And that upset you? Yes. Okay. It's not reasonable. I understand. That's why I'm going to jail. Like, I know. Okay. Well, I'm, right now I'm just trying to get the story. But because there's a knife involved, for my safety and everybody else here. If there's yeah, a knife involved and you I say mean, you have I mean, it's not my apartment. Yeah, I can go to my apartment, but I understand how the law works, so I can't just be let go, so I know. Right. 
Well, not yet. We still got we got to figure it out. Because yeah. I don't know you guys. I wasn't here for the argument. I don't know what's going on. I know. Okay, so you guys are at the bar and you're arguing. What happened next? And I just moved on from there. I ignored it for a while. When we got home, it started turning more because we started talking more and like provoking me more. So I was just like, okay. I started talking. We both started talking about it more and it got more intense. Okay. At what point did the knife get involved? How did that start? Um, actually, very recently to where it was just like, get away from me. Okay. Like, just get away from me because it wasn't. I mean, the knife got involved. Obviously, I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to get in trouble because it was an actual weapon. But when it was going on, it was more like you're putting your arm around me to choke me to make okay. sure. Like, he was asking for his key back, which we're moving in together anyway. So it's my apartment. Okay. We have emails proving that, that stuff. But mm -hmm. I didn't give him the key back, so he wanted to choke me to make sure he got the key back, which is not okay either way. But I know that I did more intense things. Okay. Can you lift your head up just one minute? Do you have any injuries whatsoever? I don't think so. Okay, do you mind if I push your hair to the side? No, go ahead. Where's the knife at? It's um, in the it's in the drawer. It should have fresh water on it. Looks like it got washed. Yeah, that's okay. So I don't know. The officer saw blood stains on the woman's dress and asked her about them. She admitted to throwing a knife during the fight, which hurt her boyfriend. Her casual admission showed she didn't seem too bothered. After seeing the blood stains and hearing her admission, the officer put handcuffs on her for safety and to start the investigation properly. This was the official start of finding out what happened, talking to both sides, checking for injuries, gathering proof, and deciding what to do next. Can you throw with all the others some more? I think so. Okay, so you guys are arguing over the key. Yes. Right? Okay, and you guys, presumably from what it sounds like, probably going through either just a fight or some sort of possible breakup. He wants his key back. And where does it go from there? It just goes from there, like, more of like, to, okay, you like, get out. I'm saying no. Mm -hmm. Because I, at that point, I, this is my apartment too. Like, I haven't signed the lease, but this is my apartment too, in my opinion. So I'm like, no, okay. And he's okay. Like, this, you don't have a choice. Like, you, he, like, throws, tries to throw me out. He puts his arm around me. He, like, throws, he, he tries to throw me out, basically. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work out because I'm like, get away from me. I push him off of me. I kick him off of me. It doesn't work out. There's a knife on the table because I was making sandwiches earlier, like making cheese and everything. There's a knife on the table and in the, in the pan and everything. So I throw it at him. I didn't think it actually go in him. I just thought it was more of like a self-defense kind of thing. Like just go get away. Like I have it in my hand. Okay, so you're in the kitchen by the pans where the knife's at. Where is he at at this point? He He's in the same place and he fucking, he, I'm sorry. He walks back and he's like, okay, you cut me. Like he's crying and everything. I'm he's saying like, before that, where was he standing when you threw the knife? So I'm at. If this is the kitchen, this is the island. Okay, so I'm at the point where the kitchen and the island is and everything. He's at the point where like more of like the door. To the islands. bedroom? No, not the bedroom. More like the door in the island. And he's like, give me my key. And he's like going at me. Okay. And I grab the knife and I'm like, no. Did and you say anything when you threw it? I didn't throw it. You just told me you threw it. You said you threw no, it out no, and you didn't no, think no, it's No, 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 I didn't throw it. I didn't throw it. I held it in my hand and I was just like, more like a self defense thing. I was just like, no. Okay. So I didn't throw it, no. What pictures do you want to keep it? Uh, no, it needs to go with us. Um, should be one of the gray ones, I thought. One of the gray it's ones that have fresh blood all over it. Okay. So. Was it that knife or was it one of the gray ones? I really don't know. The fact that it has fresh blood on it, it's probably that one. So. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, what you told me just a second ago was the knife was sitting in the pan, he was by the door, and you threw it and you didn't think it would no, stick. No, 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 I didn't throw it. No, I didn't. Okay, so you didn't throw it. No, there's okay. no throwing. He's close enough to me the entire time. Okay. Even afterwards, he's close enough to me, so. Okay. So I do that, and then, like, I, like, pick it up, and I'm like, no, and then it goes, like, wherever it went, like, in this area, and, he, and then I was, that did that, so I'm just like, no, stop, like, I, I need to fix this, like, mm -hmm. I need to fix this, I need to see what's going on, I need to know if I need to call the ambulance or if it's something different, so we're sitting here doing this whole time, and he's like, telling me not to help, and nothing, like, not to even call the ambulance, I'm like, no, I need to know what's going on, mm -hmm. I realized, how did the injury happen on his head? The, he the head injury was actually a lot earlier than that. It was more like he's 
choking me out and I bit his head because he was choking me out at the same time. So I just bit his head at the time to get him off of me. Walk me through how you bit the top of somebody's head if they're choking you out. So he's choking me out and he, well he's not choking, well, I mean technically he is, technically he's it. So he's choking me out and he's on like below me, like right here. Okay. So he's holding me. Okay. And I went down and just bit so he'd get off of me. Okay. We don't really get his quad until like, so you actually like got on me, I was just like, the woman, overwhelmed with emotion, starts talking about the incident but doesn't explain exactly what caused the disturbance. Her feelings might make it hard for her to explain clearly. This happens a lot in tense situations like fights at home, where people find it tough to talk because they're stressed, scared, or feeling lots of emotions. The officer would probably keep listening calmly, trying to understand more about what happened by showing understanding and listening carefully. Get off me. Like, I like bit him, I pushed him, I kicked him, everything. Okay. Um, so just kind of going back, I want to make sure that I have everything clear. So you guys are at a bar arguing over him looking at a butt on Instagram. We were actually arguing at the bar. At but the that, bar that's a spark. At the bar, was more of the, that was a spark. It was mm -hmm. actually more of a like scenery thing because I ignored it and I just didn't say anything. Okay. Because we were at the actual bar in public, so when we got home, it was more of a more intense thing. Okay, so how did it start when you guys got home? Like, what was said that sparked the argument? Like, what did you say? That I don't really remember too well, but when we got home, my knew that I was just like, okay, so like, you're gonna sit here and talk to me like it's normal and everything's normal, and we just moved on from there. Okay. Who is he to you? He's my boyfriend. Okay, how long have you guys been seeing each other? Two years. Okay, and you live here as well? Um, we, we did, and then we moved out to live separately, and then I was gonna move back in actually within a few days. Okay, so you're currently living somewhere else? Currently living with two feet away <laughs> like here like not here but within another building over it. but you but what i'm saying is you don't currently live in this apartment right yes now. okay um i mean i am but i'm not okay legally, where does your mail go where does your mail go Le does your mail come legally here legally it goes out there okay cool. that that settles that for me okay um okay so you guys get here something you're not sure what sparks the argument to, to kind of flare back up okay? when you guys get here well we're gonna have the fire department check him out right now okay. he looks like it's some, you know, some pretty good cuts, but we're going to check them out. Well, I mean, it's one, but yeah. Well, he's also got the one on top of his head. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure. Okay. So you guys get back here. Something, something, you know, starts the argument back up of something to the effect of you saying you're going to sit there like this is normal and then things kind of flare back up. Okay. Where are you guys at that point? At that point, we're just sitting there arguing back and forth. Bedroom, kitchen, living room. Um, at that point, we were probably like more like kitchen like bedroom and like bathroom like how they're right next to each other just like back and forth and what is he saying back to what you're saying and if you don't remember you can kind of paraphrase or if you don't remember at all you can i don't say remember exactly but i know it's more defensive than anything because mm -hmm. it's usually how it goes but it isn't necessarily i mean that was right so gotcha okay all right well i'm gonna grab a little bit of information from you you arrest one of us? Well, right now we're still kind of figuring it out. I haven't spoken to him at all, so I don't have his side of the story. But it's a must arrest one of us, right? Well, that depends on the outcome of the investigation. So I haven't spoken to him, so I don't know what his side of the story is. Where did this occur, right? Big one? Inside. Is that your boyfriend's? Yeah. Yes. But you also live in the complex because of the different unit? Yes. Okay. I actually live in that unit, you know, but as of legally, not yet. Right. She's living separately. They moved separately and they're working on moving back in together in the next couple of days. Okay. So mailing wise she stays in a different apartment. Do they need a check up here? No. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What did you say? I said, am I allowed to know what's going on? What do you want to know? Medical reasons? For, for him? Well, he stabbed. I mean, I'm not a medical expert. But I mean, I'm, can I know, though, what they say? Sure. But I don't know what they're saying. They just got here. I mean, I know that now. <laughs> no. I mean, like, can we open the door and just watch and see what they say? No, there's no reason to. Okay. Sorry. Okay. What do you need from me, brother? I don't think so. I don't think we need anything. 
All right. What do you need from us? I just got the names so I'll forward the information to the leasing office manager. Okay. That'd be it. Um, could, did you guys pull an offense yet? Uh, I don't think so. Could you just text me the offense when you pull it? I'll get you everything. Of course, appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get out of here then. All righty. If you need anything, you got my stuff. We'll do. All right, See right. you later, man. All right, man. Okay. Why is it taking so long for me to get arrested? Well, you're detained right now, so you're not necessarily Why, I know arrested. you're arrested. It's mandatory for the cops to arrest somebody for domestic violence. I know that, so I just want to know why it's taking so long. <laughs> Wait, well, we got to do a thorough investigation. They're going to excuse me, of course, because I'm the female, so. It's not how that works. I know it does. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's illegal in so many ways. Yeah, 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 okay. I don't have any wounds, okay. so I know how it works. I don't have any wounds whatsoever. That doesn't mean anything. It does, though. Whether Absolutely you put me not. in a chokehold or not, if I fucking caused a wound. And he's going to need a sworn statement. Realizing the woman isn't cooperating and keeps making excuses, the officer sees she's drunk, which makes it hard for her to explain things clearly. Seeing she's not in a good state, the officer focuses on making sure she's okay while also looking for other ways to find out what happened. This makes the officer more aware of the challenges of dealing with someone who's drunk and makes them approach the situation with more care and understanding. They're gonna, me, they're gonna tell me that he swore and saying it for nothing, so. Always. That's how it always goes. You've been arrested before? I have, yes. For what? Same thing. Oh, with the same person? Yes. Oh, okay. And that's what it comes to, and then he drops it. He dropped it last time. He's not going to drop it this time because I'm done with him, but right. it's a little different. But. Okay. So when did you show you the fight? Him looking at ass. You him not being loyal. Right. Okay. But I mean, that's not still the same thing, but it's still going to cause my shit, so. Right. How old are you? 19. 19? And you've decked this guy twice already? I haven't decked him. This is actually the first time I've ever hurt him, but. Did you say you stabbed him last time, didn't you? No, no, the last time, no, I did not, no. Oh, my, my apologies. What'd you do, what'd you guys, what happened last time? The last time, it was just a little fight. Oh, like a fist fight or just a verbal fight? It was. I mean, they say it was a fist fight, it was more of a verbal fight, but... But you got arrested? Yes. And for what reason? Domestic violence, that's it. I mean, there's gotta be more to it. Did, did no, really, really was not. You didn't put, his hand, you didn't put your hands on him? I, I put my hands on him, but it was not like an actual like fist fight. It was more like move away from me. Okay. Thing. But they still considered it, so... Okay. A little extreme on a knife, this one, but... This one, yes. This one, yes, I agree. You guys drink often? Yes. How old is he? He is 21, I am 19. We drink just about every day. Sounds like a drinking problem that you got going on. I agree, but I can't change that. Sure you can. You can get help. No, I, I can change that now, but I can't change the fact that I'm going to jail now. Because it's going to happen either way. Do you work? I do. Where at? Right down the road in Compass House. What do you do there? I'm out of records. Records? Okay. How long have you been there? Um, I've been there for over a year, but with that specific position was probably about like four months. Four months? Okay. So with domestic violence, you guys have to arrest somebody, right? It all depends on their circumstances. But so for the most no way, part, so there's no way I can be let off and just go to my apartment. And that's it. State of Florida says no. It's a big no-no. However, we still have an investigation that we got to do. So until that's complete, that's but I can't, shit. I can't speak on anybody's yeah, behalf. That's shit. Say what? That's shit. What is? The investigation you guys do. All you do is ask questions, and then it just moves on from there. That's oh. what we get paid to do. It's not what you get paid to do. That's one of the parts you guys fucking do, but it's not most of it. <laughs> you say so. Do I have to really keep on the handcuffs though? Absolutely.
What do I have to pee? How bad do you have to go? Pretty bad. Well, we'll figure that out here in a second. Can we just like shut the door where he's at and just so I can go pee? We'll, we'll talk about that here in a second and see what we can do. It's also my door. For domestic violence, if nobody bails me out, how long do I stay in there? Well, it's mandatory until the next morning to see a judge. There's no bail on the yeah, TV. Until I see judge, but yeah. like, what's the mandatory like thing? Like that's depending on the judge. Yeah, I can't dictate that. Tell me about. I think it says you're not going to see someone tomorrow and bail out. Or I'm not going to see somebody, but... A judge? First appearance? Tomorrow? Possibly, yeah. Well, this is seeing first appearance. If I get out, I didn't get out, but I still have all these issues to go through because of him. But you're not in jail, so... If anybody even fucking bails me out. No one says you can't bail yourself out. You said I can't. Say what? Last time I was in there, they said I can't. Oh, that you couldn't bail yourself out? Yeah. I'm sure someone will. Yeah. I can give them my fucking bank account information, so how do I bail myself out? You got friends and family that can assist you? After confirming the woman's role in the stabbing, the officer considered her a suspect and chose to take her to the police station for more investigation. This move created a more controlled setting for gathering evidence, questioning, and carrying out legal actions in the case. Cost ten grand to get someone out. Not a friends or family here. No. <laughs> Where are your friends at? Oh, maybe. Let's go. Huh? Let's bring it over the car. Oh. <laughs> you ready to move to us? Yeah. Uh oh. Can you guys have a team? Say again? Tommy, did I say anything? Oh, I didn't hear. Did you? No, I don't think we need a female. Come on. We're gonna go downstairs. Did you request one? Uh, yes. Oh. No one, anything come back on the female? No, he didn't. I don't, I don't think I there's any. Yeah, there's just asking. Come back. I think that's because there's a bare hand. Fucking being a fucking prick doesn't necessarily happen. Oh fuck, this is great. Which one? They explore right in front of you. You can go on passenger side and through. How long until hearing for next morning? I cannot answer that to you. It could be quick due to COVID and all that good jazz. There's nothing in your purse that shouldn't be in there, is there? I don't think so. Right. But it's up there. Yeah, yeah, we got her. Okay. Yeah, she stabbed him. Yeah, I see Straight that, up, bro. like, <laughs> she, he has a dog camera in there. Oh, they showed me the dog camera. Yeah. And she literally just, he's like, he's like, give me the keys. He's like, apology or give me the keys. Yeah. Right? And just one or the other. He's like, I don't want to, like, not trying to. Right. And she goes, well, call the I'll just call him for Dude, she literally just goes, grabs it, comes out, all ears. Yeah. He like screams. He's did like, like stab him. She dude. She looks. It just like she just grabs a knife and just comes down and just boom in the chest. She hit him right here in the like right here in the chest. How deep and, is it? Eh, not super deep, but yeah. it was like a steak knife. She hit him with the corner, with the edge, the, oh, the tip of it. Crazy and gosh, he was just like he because she just got arrested for the same thing in December. Really? With same him? thing. Yeah. She and she stabbed slipped. him. She was trying to, but she slipped and just like sliced him. He said. I'm trying to kill him, bro. Oh, she. Wow. She, She's crazy, she looks bro. calming, but dude, in that video, oh my god, bro. bro, she crazy. Are you out of here? Uh, no, I'm just pulling up his car. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool, All right, man. Yeah, you're good. We're, we got her. She's gone. She's she's about to go. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be a domestic. Oh yeah, dude. Like his all this right here is just bloody from the. Yeah. He was drinking, so it's thin. And he was leaking, dude. He'll be alright, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. But 
crazy. We're, we're listening. And so we're just kind of listening. And she's like, oh, I'm in the medical field. You need to do this. You need to do that. And so we're just kind of listening. And then she's like, well, the blood's getting everywhere. We're like, <laughs> open up. And we, she go, and we go, we hear you guys talking about blood. She goes, well, that's normal. She got blood on her, like, knee. And then homeboy comes out the room. He's just bloody. We're like, okay. Yeah, dude. Her an accent, bro. Something. No, it's not. Yeah. And she lives like two buildings down, I guess. She lives here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, especially, well, yeah, because with the weapon, she'll be charged with a felony. That should be enough to get her evicted. So. All right, man. Yes, sir. <clears throat> What? Is my purse driving with you? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. You getting air back there? Yes. Yes? Alright. I'm gonna turn it up some more for you. Courts don't work on the weekends, right? Or normal holidays, right? What's that? They don't work on the weekends or holidays, right? I think they work weekends. I, like I said, I don't know their schedule entirely right now due to the virus and it being Labor Day weekend. That's something that uh, when you get there, you can add something to be able to tell you. Seminole County, Orange County. Seminole County? Is there any possible way you can take me to Orange? What's that? Is there any possible way you can take me to Orange? No, that'd be illegal. This is a clean surface presentation. Why you want to go to Orange County? Somebody I haven't seen in a while. Is that the jail that you want to go see? <laughs> no, just somebody I haven't seen in a while. Oh, okay. Hey, sorry. Hey, sorry. So the phone doesn't work at all, even when it's in the front like that? Yeah, apparently oh, that's not. That's funny. Huh? Oh, that's funny. It's a must to actually get there as soon as possible when it's non threat violence. What's that? It's that must to get there that fast as possible with the non threat violence. What are you talking about? How you fast you're driving right now? Doing the speed limit. Really? What's the speed limit? Oh. Huh? It feels faster. Oh. I mean, obviously I'm in the fucking van, but... Please straighten me when I'm in drill. What's that? So please straighten me. I like my hair. You want to straighten your hair? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I can help you with that. Where's my chair? Huh? I'm asking what I'm going down for, what it is. Aggravated battery? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to jail for? I can't get out right now. Say what? I said I can't get out, though. He's still drinking over there with her right now, so. Who? Yeah. Oh, last time I checked, he's at the hospital now, so. Yeah, he's going to come back and do the same shit. Always does. Put it my, I put my mask in there. What's that? Yeah. Talking about masks, they're gonna give you one. So what's the plan? Excuse me. So what's the plan? Yeah. Uh, take you to jail, and they book you, and then whatever happens after that's between you and the jail. I'm just here to transport you, that's all. That's all gonna take. Uh, I don't know, I can't speak for them. Later, the woman went to court and was accused of attempted first-degree murder. 
During the legal process, she agreed to a plea deal, accepting three years in prison and two years of probation. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.